Hey guys, welcome to What's On Linux. Now we've got XCOM, Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. I've chosen to start Enemy Within here. Just came out on Steam today. Had a chance to play around with the port a little bit. It does seem to be a full-on native port. It works quite well. I haven't dug through any of the files, but if it's not a native port, I'm having a hard time figuring it out. So I played this through on Windows already. So I already know how the game works. But I figured I'd start a new game here and show you how it is. I'm gonna have that on Classic to start with. I already know about Meld. Of course, defending Earth against alien invasion or take campaign risk with alien and a T. No, I don't. I don't care about that one. She's really not that good. Contact mysterious triad operative to a device yield decisive advantage against the invaders. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Iron Man always got to do Iron Man. Second wave. Let's see. Mm, much wider range of damage, not created equally. Rookie set random starting stats. Their stats will increase randomly. Mind hates matters. Genetically modified soldiers cannot undergo psi testing. Gifted soldiers can never receive genetic modifications. Hmm. That could be fun. Aiming angles, you can receive aim bonus the closer they are to flanking an enemy. I like that. Let's do that. Secret of psionics can only be learned by interrogating a psionic alien. Hmm, that could be fun. Loading save game will reset the random number seed. Now I'm on Iron Man, so that's not really it. Uh, let's do that. Each soldier's training tree will be mostly randomly generated. It does not apply to mech troopers. Hidden potential, not created equally. There we go. Well, that should make it nice and difficult. Let's jump in. No, I don't want the tutorial experience. You guys will see just how good this port actually is. It does seem to be a port by Feral. I don't know anything about them. Haven't had much chance to research them. But it looks like they did a pretty good job. Now, of course, got to pick the base. There's North America. Europe with the laboratory bonus. Asia with the foundry and officer school. South America. Autopsies, interrogations are instant. XCOM funding increased by 30%. This is really not that good. This is okay. This is okay. This is really good. This is even better. So I'm going to go with that. Start off in Africa this time around. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the okay. next operation. Okay. Let's go. Neutralize all targets and get the meld. Now, of course, this being enemy within, I need meld in order to make mech troopers or genetically modify anything. Very good to Strength do. Very essential. much needed. You are free to engage all hostile now, it works NATO. just like you'd Don't expect from chances. the Windows version. You scroll with the mouse. You can scroll up with the mouse wheel, just like normal. Everything just kind of works. Q and E to rotate here, just like normal. Use the arrow keys to scroll, whatever you want, really. Everything just kind of works. Uh, as you can see, the graphics quality is quite good. Not running this in SLI right now. It doesn't need to be SLI'd. Copy that. It runs quite well. It is a bit of an older engine by now. So that's fine. I don't mind that whatsoever. Uh, let's get a guy up there. So I'll just show you here, playing through the first mission and maybe show you the main screen. As you can see, even what happened on the Windows version tended to happen. Uh, there's that, I don't know, kind of jumpiness that happens. It's, it's interesting, to say the least. Whenever a new alien shows up, it seems it has to take a second to load the graphics, which is kind of strange. It, think that that would already be loaded in memory and cached, but it's not, so whatever. Now uh, we'll see what happens here. 
I have all that fun stuff set, so should be harder for them to hit me from straight on like that. Uh, so, some interesting news, guys. This morning, I put in an application to Maker Studios, and they are processing my application now. Hopefully, that all goes through without a hitch. That would be nice. But yeah, it seems like I'll probably be partnered with Maker Studios in the near future. I am very much looking forward to that. It's been something I've been working towards for a while. And I'm hoping that it actually does happen. Uh, let's try and cut down the angle there, see if I can... Oh, uh, that's pretty horrible. Let's just overwatch. See if he moves again. No, nope, just gonna shoot, huh? But as you can see, game moves pretty quick. It's not bad at all. The graphics quality is quite good. I'm quite impressed with the port. They did a really good job. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged. Uh, let's see here. Let's programs. try and go this way. And then Overwatch. And of course, I gotta try and get to that meld. I don't want to lose that. It's really good stuff. I honestly did not expect the port to be this well done. This is not something that I expected. I don't think anybody really expected this. But it's quite high quality and I'm, I am quite impressed with it. I'm not noticing any major problems or slowdowns or anything. Nothing that wasn't already present on the Windows version, at least, so it's... Maybe they did move it over from the Windows version directly. Okay, we'll flank this guy. There we go. Got him. Alright, that's... I gotta move in here. Uh, we're gonna have to dash over there. Okay, and you are going to have to hmm. you go that way yeah you hide back there all right this is where it gets interesting now we got to hunt down the last alien and see what we can find where it is oh 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 three more there's three of them holy crap all right this could be interesting uh, let's see what kind of angle you got there. That's not bad. I'll take the risk. Take a shot. Right through the wall, seems. Okay, meld collected. Good. Uh, let's come around this side here. Actually, I'll just go right back there. We'll hide right behind the meld canister. They can't blow that up right now anyway. Uh, <laughs> Let's see about the angles here. This could work. Heading there now. Jump down. I got flanking on one. 61, 30, 70. Okay, take the 70%. There we go. Alright, what kind of angles can this guy get, I wonder? Not a heck of a lot, it seems. Um, hmm. You know, I think he's going to be better off reloading and then coming up next time to cover her on the way in. Trying something a little bit new with my recording setup. Recording directly. Oh, no. I lost one. And she panicked. Well, that's no fun. Oh, and another one panicked. Oh, God. Calm down. Calm down. All right, now I'm kind of stuck. I don't know where to go. Okay, you'll have to go there and just overwatch for now. Maybe he have to tuck in next time and toss a grenade. Uh, 
Critically wounded. I might be able to save her if I can get out. Okay, meld collected. Good, good. Oh god, now what? I got panicking people all over the place. Let's see about frag grenade maybe. Nope, frag grenade. Uh, right in here. Toss it in. Will that hit them both? Yes, got it. to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly I'm more worried about my men surviving, thank you. Destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get most of my guys to survive. Thanks, Doctor. I'm all for scientific ad advancement and all that, but not at the cost of lives. Of course, one of the funnest things about XCOM is you get to uh, change, put your friends' names in there. That's really fun when you can talk to your friends and say, Oh, by the way, I got you killed in XCOM. <laughs> it's always fun. Can you hit him? Good job. Good, work out there, Good job. So I lost one operative. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing Not bad. By Not bad. All right, guys, that was the first mission in XCOM, the Linux native port. It is great quality. The video is great quality. The sound is great quality. The video options are actually quite extensive. I'll take, I'll show you those in a minute here once we get through this Welcome opening part. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is to... As you can see, everything has been for our field operations made to look perfect on, on Linux. Situation. It actually is a wonderful port. I'm very excited about this. I'm not sure if you can tell by my voice. I am really excited about this. If we can get some more good quality ports like this, Linux is going to take off as the gaming platform of choice because you don't have to pay for it. Good and free. That is probably the best part about it. Now look at that. I get to promote my guys. We'll see what happens. Great. Heavy weapons. Support. Just and a like sniper. Says, the support class Good. And one killed in action. Of course, the Canadian. Killed in action. I have a Defender's Medal to award. Of from afar. Whole bunch of new research available. Look at that. Now I'll take a look at the options. I'll show those to you. Video options. Pretty good. Full screen. Lock mouse to window, which is really nice. Keeps it in there. Uh, when you have multi-monitors on Linux, most games do tend to let the mouse just leave. This one doesn't, which is nice. All the different resolution options you wanted. It was a little weird. It picked 1152 by 864 for me by default when my native resolution's 1080p. So that was kind of strange, but easily fixed. Gamma, of course. All those good options. I'll just keep it normal. Left icon, barely visible. Yeah, I'm not good at that. And you can enable frame rate smoothing if you want. Not a big fan. You can have that if you want. I do have VSync because uh, with the NVIDIA drivers, it does tend to have some tearing once in a while during recording. You can't really help that with the NVIDIA drivers. All the normal presets are there, high and all that. Uh, everything just seems to go as high as high. Like there's no reason for it to go any higher than high, right? But it looks great. As you saw during the gameplay, interface options, you can change all your keyboard bindings, your input devices, default your mouse. I haven't found a way to change it to anything else. I'm not really worried about that. Um, if I don't know of anybody who plays this game using a gamepad, if that's even an option. You can enable the autosave, action cam, third person cam, all that stuff. I'm going to disable the action cam because that's actually pretty annoying once in a while. And all the different volumes. You can even change the spoken language to the soldier's nationality, which is pretty cool. So it's a really, really good port. We return to the game here. I'll take a look at the research. Everything just pops up nice and smooth. Hello, Commander. My just as if Dr. I was Varden. playing this on Windows, which I is just amazing. The research labs. I gotta say, though, that it's really loud on my headphones. So you might want to turn the volume down if you are playing with headphones. It is quite loud when it wants to be. So start new research projects. Let's see. 
Meld recombination is probably the one to start with because you get your mechs. So let's do that. I realize our troops have to put their Yes, they do have to put their survival ah, first. Engineering. Commander. Yes. I was wondering when you'd be stopping. There we go. To engineering. Build and buy items. Build a meg kit, which is always good. Let's take the one and one satellite. Submit the order. Go back. Build facilities. Yes, we do. Let's see. What do we have here? We're going to need some power. The deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Work crews on their way to begin construction. There we go. So That's now we can jump into mission control and take a look here. Scan for activity. Look at that, guys. It's absolutely wonderful. Everything is nice and smooth. Look, we have a power generator up and running already. I got to say, this makes me doubly excited about the XCOM series. I loved this game to begin with. Now that I don't have to boot into Windows to play it and not have any glitches that I used to experience when I tried playing it in Wine is just awesome. It is spectacular and I love it. I gotta say, guys, I am I love it. I'm in love with it a game. I'm guilty, I'm sorry, but it's an awesome game. You might see me playing this more on my channel. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, well, I'm sorry, but I'll probably be playing it a whole bunch anyways. That's it for today, guys. Hope you like this What's on Linux. This is a definite must-buy. It's on sale right now on Steam for Linux for their summer sale. Get this. Drop what you're doing right now. Go on to Steam. I've got a link at the bottom of this post. Go and buy this right away. You need this game. Everybody needs this game on Linux. Show the support and get more great AAA titles like this out here. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.